All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. What's going on? It's Bam from Bam's Gaming Studios here today bringing you another YouTube video. And today I'm going to be explaining to you how to transfer your transfer your dedicated server from your computer to a host. Um, now, this process was a little bit frustrating for me personally because it took me a little bit of time to figure it out and there's not a ton of guides out there. But the one I found did help. And uh, what really conflicted me at first is that I, no matter how many times I did the steps it said to do, um, it wouldn't work. Uh, no matter what I did, I got the map data, I got the world data, but it would not transfer my player, uh, my player data. So, you know, my, my pals, my technology, my inventory, all that stuff that's really important, uh, neither my, my friend stuff either. So this isn't like going from a save to a dedicated server where you only lose the host data. It was everybody's. Um, so I did figure out how to fix it. I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. Uh, one prerequisite that you might want to have is FileZilla, but I'm just going to show you how to do it within the um, the web browser, like for the host itself. Most hosts have the same kind of file manager look, and if they require you have file for you to have FileZilla, I will have to show to show how to do that as well. So personally, I use DatHost. I've had, DatHost. I've had a, a pretty good go of it with them so far. As you can see, here's my server. Uh, I'm not going to do anything crazy like actually override the files that are on it or anything like that just because it is up, it is working, and as anybody who was watching this knows, um, it, everything's pretty finicky right now. Now I do want to say <clears throat> it is definitely very important you follow these steps down to a T. Alright, so once you get your server up and running uh, for the first time, you've logged in like it's online and whatever, you can probably go ahead and stop it. At this point, I'm sure it's generated the prerequisite files that you might need, and if not, I would say at least run it one time if it doesn't do it by itself. Um, and this is important because it generates the config files that you will need to edit in order for this whole process to work. Um, so I'm going to go into the file manager here on my server, and I'll show you, like, you'll see the save folder, content. Um, so you're going to go into save. You won't see can save games yet but you should see config and within config you should see all of these files now i will go ahead and let you know that to edit anything on the server that you want to change that'll be pow world settings i'll open that up real quick to show you uh, it'll look like this it's all in a line unfortunately but all the settings are here they're based on numbered variables or true and false um, and then also there's like also like the difficulty which is none can be set to hard all that good stuff but that's not important to what we're doing what is important is the game user settings um, once you start the server for the first time and you have these config files, the very first thing you're going to do, so I'll go ahead and open up my save folder here and let me show you guys how to get to that. So the easiest way, honestly, is to go to the Steam, go to your Power World dedicated server, and here, let me do that real quick. Right click on it, manage, browse local files. That'll take you right to where you have it installed. It opens in the background usually, um, but here it is and you see I'm in the Pow server uh, folder. And as you can see, this looks pretty similar, pretty much exactly the same to what I see here. Now, this is Windows to Linux, um, and this is actually the only way I've heard that this hurts works foolproof yet. I don't know about Windows to Windows, but I'm sure it would work the same and also work just fine. Um, okay, so anyways, importantly, most importantly, you're going to go into saved, then save games into zero. And whatever your world name is, there should only be one for your dedicated server. You're going to go ahead and right click on that, hit rename, copy it and paste it on this line right here where it says dedicated server name. Now, as you can see, mine is set to the name of my server, my world folder, and I'm not gonna change any of that like I said. Once that's done, uh, this is the, the next step. And it's again, it's important that you do these in this order. And I should mention while you're doing this from editing the config file to what I'm about to tell you to do, you should have the server offline after that initial startup once all this stuff is generated. Um, so anyways, the next thing you're going to do, you're done in the config file for now, unless you want to go change the game settings. Um, you're going to go to save games. And if it's not there yet, you'll need to do this exactly this: save games with the S and the G capitalized, a zero folder inside of that. And then this right here, you see, here's my world folder with that same name we put in the, uh, the game user settings. You're going to paste that folder, all of it, just literally drag and drop it inside of the zero folder. Now for me, like on here, it was as easy as, and I'm not gonna do it like I said, but I literally clicked on this file, like drug it like this, and dropped it right onto here. And then it, it, uh, it went ahead and uploaded it for me. Now I did say I was gonna show you how to do this from FileZilla, and for some people that have it or don't have a nice file manager layout like this, I will show you how to do so. So first you wanna download it. I'm not gonna go through that process, but I will have the link in the description. Once it's open, it'll look something like this. Mine might be out of date, but it'll look pretty similar to this. It always has. Now on mine down here, it says FTP. This is the information you're gonna need. This 
the host, the port, the username, and the password. Sometimes it'll make it whatever your panel or your sign-up password was in your email. Um, you might get emailed the information for this. A lot of times it's going to be under a tab labeled FTP or on the file manager page itself like it is here. Uh, once you're in FileZilla, you're going to click on this little like server, this computer looking icon up here. Actually, I'm sorry, don't do that. That's not worth the time. Well, really, it is the easiest thing to do. Uh, this will open up. You guys won't have all this here. You're going to hit new site, and I'm just going to name this, um, gosh, pal server. Um, now in the host, you're going to copy the host down here. So I'll copy this port. Uh, and obviously, I'm going to have this blurred out so you guys won't see it, but the username and password will go over here as well. Um, so once you do that, you're going to hit OK. It'll add it to your servers up here. So it didn't sign me in or anything, anything, but it is added. Once that's done, you click here and you see this thing that says PAL server. Again, you guys won't have all these other ones, so it'll just be right here at the top. But you can click on it and it'll connect you into the FTP. And what you're looking at here is the same thing I was looking at in the file manager, but maybe just a little bit more familiar to like the Windows file interface. Um, so again, you would go into saved. Am I losing my mind here? Save, no, I'm not. Uh, save games zero and this is where you're going to want to put that world folder and if again if these don't exist just create them and inside of config in linux server is where you will find both the game user settings and the power world default settings that edit the server settings so that's how you do it through ftp and that's also how you do it through file manager um, now after all this is done you are clear to start the server and i just want to restate again before you do any of this the server should be shut down you do need to start it once initially, though, just to generate the configuration files. But with all that said and done, you should be good to upload the save file to the um, server, play it, and the steps I've said, and you'll be good to go. If you have any questions, please leave them below, guys. And I apologize for my speech. Don't know why I'm tripping up so much. Probably because I'm tired. Um, but I hope I was able to help some people out because this was a super frustrating issue for me. Anyways, thanks, guys. Have a good night.